In this video, we'll dive into how Crew AI serves as an exciting alternative to Microsoft's Autogen, showing you how to set up your own agent crews quickly. Picture creating a scenario where Donald Trump and John McClain team up to solve a superhero mystery at the Trump Tower, using a multi-agent team that taps into the Marvel Superhero API. If you're curious about how someone could dream up such a nerdy idea, let's say I had a little help. Let's start with a quick look at Crew AI. It's the new player in AI, launched just four months ago and already has 7,000 stars on GitHub, quickly becoming a real competitor to Microsoft's Autogen. If you compare the code from Autogen with Crew AI, initially the code looks similar, but key differences exist. By the end of this, You'll see how both can be used similarly. Let's jump right in and build the trumped McLean crew from the ground up. In just three steps, you'll discover all you need to create advanced projects using Crew AI. Before we start our main project, let's look at the differences between Autogen and Crew AI. Autogen organizes agents like Bob and Alice into a group chat. It uses a group chat manager to manage conversations, allowing agents to interact based on predefined roles. On the other hand, Crew AI structures interactions around tasks within a crew of agents, each with specific roles and goals. It uses a hierarchical process to manage tasks. According to Crew AI's author, Autogen is great at creating conversational agents but lacks process structure, making agent orchestration complex as tasks expand. And in direct comparison, we achieve the same result with less code. As always, we begin by setting up a virtual environment to isolate our project dependencies. We proceed to create a new file named app.py. And we install Crew AI so that we can use it in our project. The first step in our brand new Python script is to import the necessary classes from Crew AI, Agent, Task, Crew, and Process. Let's outline the necessary steps for our project. Firstly, we establish the agent definitions. Our next step involves defining the tasks required to identify the attacker. Subsequently, we assemble our crew, integrating both agents and tasks. The final step is to kickstart the process. Starting with agent definitions, Donald Trump takes the stage first, serving as the host for our event. Like every agent in Crew AI, he's assigned a role, a goal, and a backstory. Next, we introduce John McClain, tasked with unmasking the superhero attacker. For the love. To aid him, he has access to the Marvel API. Which provides a comprehensive overview of all superheroes, complete with names and backstories. For this, we create a file dedicated to facilitating access to the Marvel API. Let's paste in the prepared code. At first glance, the code might appear complex, but it essentially performs a request to the Marvel API, retrieving all superheroes from a specific Marvel series, such as the Avengers. For those interested, the complete series and source code are available at AIfordevs.com. Let's put it to the test to see the outcomes. We invoke the fetch Marvel characters method within the file. Oops, an error occurs. It seems we've overlooked providing the necessary tool input, usually supplied by the crew agent, into the function. By supplying a hint and trying once more, we observe a list of 100 superheroes, each entry detailing a name, such as Hulk, alongside a description of their origins and heroic deeds. Everything seems to be functioning as expected. Now, we must ensure that this functionality seamlessly integrates with our John McLean agents. This requires the initial importation of the method. 
we observe that the method is adeptly linked to the agent through tools. Moving on to the actual task creation, we aim to identify the superhero attacker using clues. The description is to analyze the clues left by the superhero to identify them using the Marvel API. The discovery of an NYPD fan sticker serves as our hint. The task then involves employing necessary steps to unveil the superheroes. Next, we assemble our crew, allocating our agents and their respective tasks. We configure the process to operate hierarchically, which implies the presence of a manager to oversee the process. Consequently, we must equip the manager with a language model to ensure they possess the requisite capabilities. For this, we import ChatOpenAI. The process can be initiated by calling kickoff on the crew. With anticipation, we're ready to test it out. But first, we must set the OpenAI API key as an environment variable. Initiating the process, we immediately notice the development of initial thoughts. The API delivers results and a preliminary hypothesis is formed. Captain Stacy, a former NYPD officer, could be our suspect. However, without intervention, this process could potentially run ad infinitum. Therefore, we limit the number of iterations to streamline the investigation. Upon retrying, the investigation recommences. This time, the initial suspects are Spider-Man and Daredevil. Interestingly, the co-host is also consulted, but admits to lacking access to the Marvel API, redirecting the task back to our action hero. This time, suspicion falls on Spider-Man. Ultimately, Spider-Man emerges as the probable superhero behind the attack on Trump Tower. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, you're going to love our video about Autogen. Just click on the video link to dive in and enjoy.